I was born in the wagon of a traveling show. My mama used to dance for the money they throw. Grandpa would do whatever he could. Preach a little gospel, sell a couple of bottles of dog to good. Gypsies, tramps, and thieves. We hear it from the people every town they go. Gypsies, tramps, and thieves. Every night all the men would come around and lay the money down. We picked up a boy just south of Mobile, gave him a ride, fed him with a hot meal. I was 16, he was 21. Rode with us to Memphis. Papa would have shot him if he knew what he'd done. Gypsies, tramps, and thieves. We heard from the people every town they go. Gypsies, tramps, and thieves. Every night all the men had come around and lay them on a dime. I never had schooling, but it taught me well. The smooth southern style. Three months later, I'm a gal in trouble. I haven't seen him for a while. I haven't seen him for a while. I was born in the wagon of a traveling show. My mama used to dance for the money they throw. Grandpa do whatever he could. Preach a little gospel, sell a couple of bottles of dog to good. Gypsies, tramps, and thieves. We hear from the people every town they go. Gypsies, tramps, and thieves. Every night all the men come around and lay the money down. Gypsies, tramps, and thieves. Hey. hey. Come on over, Peggy. Come on over. Very nice. She has an unusual... <laughs> Is it an old song, or where did it come from? Oh, it's the uh, Sonny and Cher number. Oh. That uh, they put out. It's a funny thing. I never heard of it. Never heard the song before. Gypsies, tramps, and thieves. I wonder which one would get mad to be included with the other two. <laughs> <laughs> the gypsy, the tramp, or the thief? The one, uh, How in the world do you go to school and sing every evening? Very carefully. Very carefully. <laughs> <laughs> double biology and double psychology. What are you going to do with all those four degrees? <laughs> She's going to be a contortionist. <laughs> <clears throat> no, um, I would uh, eventually go into research, I imagine. But you love singing. You've been doing it since you were 13. How are you going to be able to give that up, or are you? I doubt it. That's something you can't quite just give up. Peggy, somewhere you have some folks, some family. Yes. Where are they, darling? Uh, in Louisville. Oh, are you? Right. You're a native. You're a Kentuckian, huh? No. From Alabama originally. Um, my father was transferred to Louisville. Okay, see, when you ask one years. question, you start, you know, it just keeps on going on. I'll shut up. Why was your father transferred, and what does he do? <laughs> I said, I'll shut up. Oh, no, he's just wondering. <laughs> Ted just gets wondering like that. Uh, he works with uh, U.S. Steel. United States Steel? Right. Now we're getting back to gypsies, tramps, and thieves. What does he steal? <laughs> I mean, oh, he's Ted. Said. <laughs> Here we go into mm -hmm. the pickpocket area. You know, <laughs> Wait till yeah. I go home and he said, what'd you say that guy's name was? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we just wondered about the family. Peggy tells me that they get this show in St. Matthews in Louisville. I wouldn't have thought that it would have pumped over those mountains there. Doesn't it get stopped at Frankfurt because of the mountains? It's a little snowy, but it's all right. <laughs> They're watching her through snow this morning in Louisville. <laughs> You're going to do another number for us, Peggy, but before you do, uh, what's your most requested Number? What's the one everybody requests all the time? Was it this one, Gypsies, or is it Jesus Christ Superstar? It's the Jesus Christ Superstar. What? Tell us, for those of you that haven't heard the, anything from the album, it was done in London. <laughs> it's a rock opera from London, right? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, a lot of people, I know, feel that it's a sacrilegious thing, but it really isn't, is it? No, I don't think so at all. It's the young people expressing themselves in their way of music. Is this right? I believe it's um, what they have done is taken... Uh, a historical Jesus, the man himself, not uh, what uh, tradition supposedly is put up. I resent the title of the thing. Somehow there's something sacrilegious to me about 
in a sense, blasphemous about the title of the, well, whatever it was, a play, I don't even care, I, I just didn't like that. <clears throat> but the other night, who was it? Petula Clark or somebody did a number from that, and Carl Louise is pretty critical of these things too, but she did something, one number, uh, who was it about somebody in this story who loved Jesus? Some, uh, what, what, which one is that, uh, Peggy? Which number is that? And it's a beautiful thing and a very sentimental thing. Do you know that number? Do you know which one that is? Yeah, that's the one I'm going to do. Is that the, the one you're going to do? Uh, What's the name of it's it? It's the Mary Magdalene song. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. And it was a pretty, very, very touching, mm -hmm. nice thing. Uh, and it was hard to believe that that came from something that I have resented ever since I first heard the title. Well, I think a lot of people do, Ted, and I did also. But, you know, when you have youngsters, as I do, and they had bought it and they loved it, I felt I owed them the courtesy of listening to it. And I, too, resent the title, Superstar. I wasn't raised to uh -huh. call Jesus Christ Superstar. No, no, and yet, no. the young people today have a way of thinking and a way of believing of their own, and they don't consider that a slang or, or, or a derogatory term. And you have to listen to them because they have something to say. They think it's, it's it, to them it's a compliment, and it, it's, a, it's a way of saying that it's a reverent thing for, the, for these people that it, it, it is. And it's very difficult for those of us that were not taught this way to understand it. But it is. It's a reverent thing. It's, it's um, it, well, it just is. And <laughs> I've listened to it, and I too do not, it is not my favorite album. And it, it's not something I would like to hear at Christmas time. And yet, I have to say that it has a message. Would I'm you go surprised. and do it for us now? Well, let's see what we can do. All right. <laughs> She's going to do it. I heard her do it the other night, and, and as I say, I, I have to go along with you, but it's a message that the young are saying, and they love Jesus too, and they saw him as a man who walked among men and loved men and perhaps wasn't at all times clean, and if you'll remember, whether you'd like to admit it or not, he had long hair. <laughs> Here we go, Jesus Christ Superstar and Peggy March doing the song. I don't know how to love him What to do, how to move him I've been changed Yes, really changed In these past few days When I see myself I seem like someone else I don't know how to take this I don't see why he moves me He's a man He's just a man And I've had so many men before in very many ways he's just one more should i bring him down should i scream and shout should i speak of low let my feelings out i never thought i'd come to these what's it all about He said he loved me I'd be lost, I'd be frightened I couldn't cope, just couldn't cope I'd turn my head, I'd back away I wouldn't want to know He scares me so, I love him so Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, who are you? What have you sacrificed? Oh, Jesus Christ, you superstar. Do you think you're what they say you are? I don't. Christ, 
Jesus Christ Who are you? What have you sacrificed? Oh, Jesus Christ, you superstar Do you think you're what they say you are? I, I don't know how to love him He scares me so Say Happy New Year. Look at the camera. Say, <laughs> happy we'll New all Year. Leave. <laughs> <laughs> happy New Year to all of you out there. And this beautiful baby is Todd Sweezy. He's our uh, director's little boy, and our director's in there directing. Isn't he beautiful? <laughs> Seven months old. And he is Mr. 1973. There you are. And he is about as active as any little <laughs> seven-month-old. And he likes that microphone, doesn't he, Doug? <laughs> We like sitting you. <laughs> he likes where he's looking, too. I want you to get a look at what we have for you this morning. If you're uh, not feeling too well this morning, you sit back in your easy chair because you're going to see a show so great and so fine, you're not going to believe it, but it's here. And the first gentleman, I'm going to start the far end of the couch, <laughs> is Jeff. God bless you. Yes. God bless you. You can see it's going to be a bad and kind of a da damp year. Is that a bad omen? No, that's starting the year out saying God bless you. Oh, Hello, that's Todd. Good. That's Delman. <laughs> the first gentleman, as we said, down on the corner of the couch is John Ireson. And John is out at the Hospitality Inn right now, and John is a world traveler. He's had a television show, three television shows in Italy. He has done the soundtrack to three different films and been in several films. He not only plays and writes music, but he's a very fine person. And he's come out this morning, this bright and early first day of the new year. And we're very happy to have you, John. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. It's great. And I want to thank you again for going out to Eastern State. That was a beautiful thing, Thank too. you. I enjoyed that. It made my whole year, June. It really did. Well, you did a fine uh, job, and they enjoyed I seeing I think it. everybody should do something like that occasionally. Uh, Makes you feel good, doesn't it? Sure does. sure does. It really makes you yes. feel uh, like winning this year. That's a nice way to put it. Thank you. And now, you're not ready for this, I know, but here they are. And the first young lady is Gina D. And, of course, she is Miss Versatility. There she is, alive and alert this morning. <laughs> See how alive and alert she is? <laughs> <laughs> Nina, doesn't this remind you of being in Asia New Year's? <laughs> Well, there's no hangovers on this show. You can, we're all a bunch of non-drinkers, coffee drinkers, and, of course, that darling little baby makes us kind of glad to be here, too, because starting New Year off with new things like that shows a great future for America. And Nina and Shirley and I have all traveled the same circus, haven't we? Right. They sure and they sure look gorgeous and virtuous this morning, too. And Ted, you look sweet. <laughs> and June, you look... And John is just a thrill to be sitting here beside you. I think you're great, too. You know, I In fact, I just love the whole daggone world this morning, I'll tell you. What a way to start talking to Ted. <laughs> <laughs> right behind gorgeous and virtuous, I got you look okay, too. Except my boots. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot my sheep. And I get on my boots. But you I got mean, a ticket on your sleigh outside. A Moscow policeman just got you. <laughs> and Rudin, <Rudin's laughs> We got a rush on Unless these are a gift from Nicholas when he was around in Alexandria. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best I could do. Really. But Gina's amazing. been overseas, too, and entertained the troops. And Every uh, chance they can shoot me over there. <laughs> <laughs> they <laughs> figure. <laughs> the best weapon we've got. Yeah, yeah when they see me, though, they don't want to come back, so they quit <laughs> <laughs> told you, I, you you're gonna wait and told you you're here. gonna wake up this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Want you to meet two more people now that you've seen uh, I I hope around Lexington, certainly on Town Talk and again all over the world. They've just finished another world tour. They're just back and they're here home for the holidays and then they're off to Texas where they're going to be back with the Hilton chain where they'll be out west. And the one and only Nene Carr. Happy and New Shirley Year. Wolf. 
Happy New Year! <laughs> you know, that's terrible. never could do that. I tear the inside of my mouth out. <laughs> well, that's you lost something terrible about New Year's Eve. What? What? You have to stay sober. Isn't that, isn't that true? Entertainers when have to stay sober there. when you're well, working. Let's face it. Most entertainers like women, we really don't like to drink. That's right. We Truthfully, don't. we really, everybody thinks we're a bunch of socks. <laughs> right, they do. Are you but kidding? I'm in the wrong place. Right? <laughs> 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 now, most of your female entertainers really are so worried about entertaining that night, they're scared because the minute 12 strike, you run because everybody forgets, you know, that they got their own wife to kiss. You know, <laughs> <laughs> let me kiss the little entertainer. She did, you know. Like, you know, and I'm going, but she weighed 500 pounds, Mr. And I'm only four foot 11. You're not very big either, except in certain places, other than that. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's nice hanging out this you morning, I think. You're very lucky that this is a clean show. <laughs> but they do look good hanging out, Shirley. <laughs> we just blew the show, you know that, don't you? <laughs> Mimi yeah. and Shirley, you've been, you're just back, and you had a, yeah, they had a 14 piece band while they were overseas, and they've got the tape of that. But you did a song when you opened your shows, the two of you in that outfit, for the boys, right? For the troops. Right. Now, why this particular medley? Well, mainly because it's the last place the fellas see when they leave home uh, and the first place they see again when they come back home from Vietnam and the Far East. And uh, I'm not going to tell you the name of the song or the medley because it's a surprise and it's kind of obvious and it's a special thing for them. And they made us promise that until each and every one of them came home <coughs> that we would always include this song uh, in every show. And I see both girls wear the prisoner of war bracelets. That's a kind of a nice thing, too. So would you two ladies take your place? I'm going to keep this boy. He yeah, likes me. Can't you tell? We would be delighted. He's settled down beautiful. beautifully, had not Just gorgeous. <clears throat> Turn around and wish everybody a happy new year. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're going to go and sing. Bless Isn't he heart. gorgeous? He's we also have Dave Annie. Perry this morning. And Dave is doing a rather interesting uh, number, which you're going to see in just a minute. And Ted Grizzard is here. And we do have a show for you, a great show. We've got a surprise oh, ending. We've got a whole lot of songs to sing. Now he's and getting And Todd a little is happy. getting a little rusty. I don't blame him. Well, here we go. We've got to have his go. nap. They're ready? Shirley Wolf and Nene Carr, and this is something they did for the boys overseas. California, Right back where I started from Where bowers of flowers bloom in the spring Each morning a dawning birdies sing and everything A sun-kissed miss said, don't be late I know I can hardly wait Open up that golden gate California Do you know the way to San Jose? I've been away so long I may go wrong and lose my way Do you know the way to San Jose? I'm going back to find some peace of mind in San Jose L.A. is a great big freeway Put a hundred down and buy a car In a week, maybe two, they'll make you a star Weeks turn into years, how quick they pass And all the stars that never were Are parking cars and pumping gas I've got lots of friends in San Jose Do you know the way to San Jose? Do you know the way? Do you know the way? Do you know? Do you know? Do you know? Yes, I I left my heart in San Francisco, high on a hill. It calls to me to be where little cable cars climb halfway to the stars. The morning fog may. The fellas, they don't care, their love's wait there In San Francisco, high above the blue And when do you see, oh, let's do it When I come up to you, San Francisco Your golden sun Open your golden gate, you'll let no stranger wait. I 
outside your door San Francisco, here is your wandering one Saying I'll wander no more Other places only make me love you best Tell me you're the one in all the golden west San Francisco, I'll never roam again I'm coming home again Open up that golden gate, California, 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 here I go. To give a gift from Kentuckiana Gifts is very special indeed. For primarily handy... It's kind of a pretty... Well, it's nice, and let her show you. Here she is, Miss Nene Carr. Someone once said, Tomorrow is the first day of the rest of your life. And since this is New Year's Day, and the first day of our new year, we might as well say... This is the first year of the rest of the years of our lives. And our lives are very important to us. Life is very important to us, even though we're only visitors here. This is God's world, and sometimes we trespass. Life is important. This is not a real polar bear. Someday, if we don't watch out, there won't be any more polar bears our antelope, our lions, our leopards, our birds, our trees, our grass, our rivers, our air, or even people. Life is very, very important and very precious and very dear. And ecology is a new word that kind of sums up a lot of feelings and thoughts that a lot of people have had for hundreds and hundreds and thousands, I suppose, thousands of years. I'd like to do this number, and I'd like you to think about what I've said. I'd like to do this number for ecology, and I'd like to do it for a special person and for his life and what his life might mean to you or might have meant to you in the past or might mean to you right now if you know him. You've seen him on the Guignol stage. You've been delighted by his talent. If you know him as a person, you've been delighted by his humanity and his sense of humor. If you've seen him on Broadway, you know he's a star. He almost lost his life. So for those of you who know him and know about him, for those of you who have the pleasure to know him in the future, this is for Bill Hayes. Try to remember the kind of September when grass was green and grain was yellow. Try to remember the kind of September when dreams were kept beside your pillow. Try to remember the kind of September when love was an ember about to billow. Try to remember. And if you remember, then follow. You wonder how these things begin. Well, this begins with a season, which, for want of a better word, we might as well call September. It begins with a forest where woodchucks woo and leaves wax green and vines entwine like lovers. Try to see it. Not with your eyes, for they are wise. 
can't see with your ears and hear it with the inside of your hand the soundless sound of shadows flicking light celebrate sensation try to recall that secret place you've been there you remember that special place where once just once in your crowded sunlit lifetime you hid away in shadows from the tyranny of time that special place beside the clover where someone's hand held your hand and love was sweeter than the honey or the berries or the stinging taste of mint it is september a perfect time to be in love deep in december it's nice to remember although you know the snow will follow deep in december it's nice to remember without a hurt the heart is hollow deep in december it's nice to remember the fire of september that made us mellow deep in december our hearts should remember and follow 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 heard. Her name is Shirley Wolf. She has written the song that she's going to sing for you right now, and it's called I Need You. Here she is, Miss Shirley Wolf. Listen. 
Thank you, Doctor. And they, too, want to wish you and yours a very happy, prosperous, wonderful new year. So, happy new year. And now we've set the scene uh, in a restaurant that Ted and I were in uh, last year, and memories are coming back on New Year's Day. We were waiting on the waitress, and uh, Nina Carr was singing, and Ron Reed was at the piano, and everything just seemed to be going well. And, well, Ted and I were just chatting, and here's how it happened. You know, I have an idea that we <clears throat> should have gone to the fig tree again. Out of sight. Well, I think I'm going out of my head. First thing I noticed was... Yes, I think I'm going out of my head. Over. Don't say anything. I told you. Excuse me, Nina. Try over here. What's your problem, lady? Excuse me. What's the matter? Stand right over here, please. I'm trying to do my number. I'm trying to do my... You're not allowed to touch me, lady. I'm an employee of this place, you know. I'm just just I'm keep trying, your hands I'm off, okay? I'm trying to do my number, and you're interrupting the entire thing. Well, I'm trying to do my number, too, so just stand no, back, I'm, okay? Just, let me finish singing my song, okay? No, I gotta, no. I gotta push this. You see, I'm paid to push this food, okay? If you'll just stand right over there, I'll be... I'll just, I'll just well, is this, this okay? Out. Is this back that, far enough? All right, okay, right. fine. All right. You okay, dear? Okay, okay, folks, you've been waiting long enough. you have a pig order here? <laughs> Who ordered a pig here? You didn't have it. You're singing. You can't order it. You want the pig, lady? Uh, you want, no. You say you got a pig. You're with the pig? No, that's not right. Who ordered a pig? What is this? Oh, I forgot it was New Year's. Oh. <laughs> anyway, I got my order blanks here somewhere. Oh, here we go. I'll take one of the How many order orders blanks. would you like? Should I have one of the order blanks? You want an order blank? I'll have to write on I'm the tablecloth. <laughs> what is it? How, how many orders of pig do you want? I'll take two of the blanks. I don't want any pig. Do you want the two of the blanks? No pig. I've eaten how about you, lady? I, 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 it's I, a I, suckling I, pig. You can suckle on this thing if you want to. We don't care. I, had I can suckle time. on anything. I? I would like a shopper's choice test tender steak. <laughs> <laughs> what is this, a commercial? <laughs> you want a shopper's choice? Run that by me one more time. Test tender. Test tender steak. Right. Could I have the I chicken? I don't think I can spell that. You want the chicken? Yeah, the one that was just running. Nobody over. wants this crummy pig, okay? We'll get rid of that. You want this one legged? This is pig like Bates. Oh, he's not. <laughs> he only has one one leg here. Pick that, that off one oh, night. <laughs> you what? want you want a chicken leg here? I'll take that, please. Yeah. Please, it's a shopper's right. choice. Not anymore, it isn't. Through. This is a right. reject from shopper's choice. Excuse me, choice. just a minute. I think what? that's about enough. Are you finished with your orders? I had because one I... more order to okay, go. Okay, okay, fine. Just stand right. back and, and give All me right. some uh, breathing room here, okay? <laughs> Any Anybody here order the sweet breads? Are they really sweet? I don't, I, I don't taste this food. I just <laughs> push it. Where do you eat, dearie? Where do I eat? <laughs> this is TV, honey. <laughs> <laughs> You mean you I'm gonna put you down. Me. I'm gonna put you down for a one-legged chicken. You I'm gonna give you the pig, lady. Already. You're stuck with the pig. One pig for you, and I'm gonna put you down for two orders of chicken here. <laughs> and chicken oh, there's a pig hair. over there. Look at that. Maybe he likes some sweet breads. You want some sweet breads? You don't? I want you to leave. You want me to leave? Yes. Uh, Who invited you here? Just, just, just give her a number. Just give her any number. Just tell her how many sweet breads uh, you want. Get you, rid of her. Uh, just going. Fifty. They only come in pairs. I can't give you 15. <laughs> okay, that's just about 14. enough. Right, 14 just sweet breads. Enough. Come over here. Give Pick up all your things. Pick up all your things and stand here? right over here. Ron, let's finish your number. Gonna... Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. Minutes. We're going to finish with the number. If you'll excuse us just a moment here. Um, Doris, would you please uh, put your things right over here and just let me finish singing my song, okay? I want you to stand right over here. Put your tray down. Put your tray down right there. All right? Take it from the top. You got it, Ron? Ladies and gentlemen, I'll try to start from the beginning again, okay? Thank you. Well, I think I'm going out of my head. Yes, I think I'm going out of my head. Stand over there. Over you. Over you. I want you to want me. But you just walk past me. You don't even know that I exist. And I think I'm going out of my head Cause I can't explain the tears so That's about enough of that, just behave yourself Over, keep going, you Over you Keep going there, it's alright, keep going Don't let her shake you I want you to want me But you just walk past me You don't even know that I exist Going out of my head What is that? 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 What is that?
number here. I that thought you need a little drum. Give me those. Now, behave yourself. Just stand right there. Okay, let me finish doing my number. Let's take one more time. A little bit faster. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Just behave yourself. Just be quiet. One, two, two, one, two. Yeah. Well, I think I'm going out of my head. Yes, I think I'm going out of my head. Over you. Over you. I want you to want me. But you just walk past me, you don't even know that I exist. Going out of my head, over you, out of my head, over, keep going, you, out of my head, day and night, night and day and night, wrong or right, I must think of a way into your heart. There's no reason why my being shown.